Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about the two dress shoes that every guy should start with. So there's going to come a time in your life where you're going to need to expand your wardrobe from jeans and a t-shirt to maybe something a little classier. And basically, when you're starting out, you want something that's going to work with everything. So today we went with a black Oxford and a brown Brogue. Those shoes are very versatile. Um, they'll get you through anything from your graduation to to your job interview to actually you know a full on college. Exactly, and I mean the reason we did black Oxford instead of a black brogue would be because the color black is essentially more formal than brown, and the less spazzazz that's going on is the more formal it will be. So these are less formal than these in color and style. So think about it as semi-formal attire, formal attire. Exactly, like this is like, you know, um, anything where you're really, really dressing up like a black tie event, you don't want to have any broguing, you want to just yeah. be any, clean. Any tux, you want to wear a black shoe, you want to make sure uh, it's, it's it's formal, it's, it's a formal occasion, so you want to like be the part, you know, you don't want to be that guy who's wearing the brown brogues to uh, a black tie event, you know. I would say uh, have fun with your brown shoes. It doesn't necessarily have to be this cap toe brogue or anything. You could do a wing tip, you can do a monk strap, you could do just a regular cap toe. But I'd say if you're gonna have fun with one of the two, have fun with the brown shoe. Personally, I got my first pair of uh, brown brogues when I was in high school. Um, I started dating, my mom was like, you know, it's time to leave the, the, the sneakers at home. So I got my first pair and I wore them with denim and it was like my growing up my, my growing up phase, you know? And you did, I, you did brown brogues with denim though, right? Yeah, I did brown brogues. Yeah, I, uh, I, I always had a pair of black formal sh uh, dress shoes, but that was only for like uh, dances or uh, weddings or funerals, etc. Right. But when I got the brown brogues, that really changed the game. I feel like, you know, my style just completely changed. I got the, I got a lot of compliments. It's just my my overall uh, style, I guess, just expanded. I'd say brown brogues are a good first choice unless you're buying them for a formal event. Like, basically, wait till there's something fancy that you get to dress up to for an excuse to make this purchase, I yeah. would say. Yeah. But I would go, because these are good with denim, these are good with denim and a blazer, just a t-shirt and jeans, you can still wear brogues and dress up. Exactly. Like, you'll get more use out of these than you will these, but when it comes time to wear these, you'll be glad you had good ones. That's smart. Yes, you, you should always pretty much buy the brown brogues first, but when there comes that formal event, you're gonna buy the shoes for the event. Exactly. And always use those. Because ah. like, I know, I used it. Speaking from experience. If, speak, if you watch literally our first video ever, the three dress shoes every guy should have, you know those Prado wing tips? Yeah. Which I didn't uh, take my own advice. Yeah. One, but I bought patent leather black wing tips and I bought them for my one of my best friend's weddings and I still wear them for every formal event that I can get away with wing tips. But those are sharp. Dude. But those I wish are, they would yeah. have been Oxfords yeah, at this yeah, point. Yeah. So don't make the same mistake I did. Um, you know, keep your black shoes simple, have more fun with the browns, especially when you're starting out. When if you have 80 pairs of shoes, do whatever the hell you want. I feel like with the brown brogues, you could really even play on like some fun socks, sock lit, or well, no shows. Right. You can do stripes, pinstripes, you can do all that kind of stuff. With the black oxfords, pretty much like a nice black. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you're doing black, solid. gray, navy suit, solid colors, white, crisp white dress shirt. What about socks though? Solid yeah. socks. Yeah, right? you, gotta, you gotta go solid. Or like, like a herringbone or something like a fancier pattern, yeah. you know? Yeah. Not no like polka dots or no, maybe an argyle. Colors. Maybe an argyle. Right, but, but like a gray yeah. muted. You want to keep the theme. Exactly. Keep it classy. If you're wearing these shoes, keep, think classy. That pretty much wraps up the two dress shoes we think you should own first. If you have any questions, um, ask us below. We're gonna put a full list together of different black oxfords and brown brogues that you can kind of take a look at on gensloms.com. So we'll have a link to that down below. Be sure to check it out. Um, take a look, we'll have them priced from $45. We'll go all the way up to 500 and you can kind of peruse the differences and there'll all be recommendations from us. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram, at gensloms. Hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge, and uh, don't forget to look at JensLounge.com.
Thanks, guys.